up YouTube. So today I thought I would make a video showing how I do my makeup. People are always asking me, how do you draw on your eyebrows? How do you do your lipstick without having to take out your lip rings and all that stuff. So I thought I would show how I do my makeup. It's changed a lot over the years um, since I've been shaving my eyebrows since uh, 1996, which if you do the math is 24 years ago. Oh my gosh, that is so crazy. I can't believe that it's been that long. And I kind of did it as a, it was kind of a rebellion and it was kind of a, just cause I wanted to, there was a few moments of inspiration. One was, uh, you know, Marilyn Manson has always been a big hero of mine musically, artistically, and on a lot of different levels. And he shaved his eyebrows. And also I was found myself watching Pink Floyd's The Wall one night and the guy in it shaves his eyebrows off. And it was sort of like a bunch of events happened and it kind of was like a burn my bra kind of moment. <laughs> And I also was embracing the concept of androgyny because everywhere I went, people were like, mom, is that a boy or a girl? Or, you know, people would think they were, you know, going to hurt my feelings by saying, is that a boy or a girl really loudly next to me when I'm walking to work or whatever in the mall that I used to work at. And it always kind of made me laugh instead of actually hurting my feelings because you know, I, I have a mohawk. As you can see, I just reshaved it. It's all nice and fresh for you guys. And I re-dyed my hair too because the roots were starting to show. I mean, this is all fake, so I don't have to re-dye that. But this actually, the this part, I re-bleached it. And I pretty much have given up on using just dye. Uh, you know, standard dye. I used to really love to use the brand Special Effects and Raw which um, when I worked at Hot Topic, we carried a um, million years ago and uh, they stopped carrying it. Uh, I don't know if they still make it. I know my brother, I got my brother who lives on the East Coast into um, the special effects and he has a pretty awesome bright red mohawk right now. He just sent me a really cool picture. He looks great. Um, so what I've started using lately is I will go to Ulta's website and I will get this it's a shampoo actually it's a it's punky colors uh, three-in-one color depositing shampoo and conditioner I always keep gloves in my shower or near my shower on my little rack of products um, so that I can I'll usually put some in my hair uh, before I hop in the shower you know brush my teeth and get all my things together and I'll just leave it in and then I'll rinse it out when I'm in the shower and Sometimes I'll even put it in just like I would with any of these kind of dyes because these won't um, fry your hair like bleach or other dyes that have chemicals in them uh, because they are basically a colored conditioner. So I will sometimes put this on my head and walk around and you know, play video games, do some dishes, maybe make something to eat, pick out my clothes for the day, whatever, and then rinse it out. Um, I have been known to sleep with the dye in my hair from time to time uh, because you have to keep in mind anytime that you use any any kind of these semi-permanent or temporary hair colors every time you wash your hair every time you use um, hairspray or gel or any kind of product in it it's going to strip the color out faster so you have to re-dye more frequently unless you like the way it looks which sometimes with these blues they kind of fade to a more teal and they have these in like every freaking color just about that you can think of uh i love it i think it's great and it's much more affordable than most of the dyes of the little dyes that you can get although i still have to say there are certain staples that i still love i love manic panic um they've been around forever um, I love punky, you know, this is punk killer, I like punky color. I like, I just like a lot of the different ones. I haven't tried that Arctic Fox yet, but I've seen some cool colors. The only reason I haven't tried Arctic Fox was, um, one of the times I went into the good old HT, 
uh, they didn't have the little, they usually have a little swatch of, it's like a little fake hair on it and it shows you what each color is, little color wheel thing. And they didn't have it. So I couldn't compare what color and I was orange at the time and I wanted a good vibrant orange. I apologize. My cat Cloud is in heat. Cloud, stop. Yes, you're beautiful. We love you, but you don't need to holler. Yeah, I know. We love you. We love you. Anyways, so <clears throat> there's that. Um, oh, gracious, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so I've got those. If you are interested, you, I'm sure you can find it online anywhere by searching Punky Color, um, 3-in-1 Color, uh, Depositing Shampoo and Conditioner. Or you can go to Ulta Beauty's website and they have it on there and they've got all different colors. Now don't get, like, if it's not quite the same exact color, like say you want a red and uh, the red seems really bright, it should be okay to do anyways. Just stick, try to get whatever closest to the base of what color you're trying to do because, you know, there's orange reds and there's pink reds. So... If you were having a pink red, I might go with a pinky color or maybe get both. I don't know. It's up to you. I also have a few other colors up here to show you. Usually when I do my bleach, because I shave my head and I don't have a lot of, um, I don't have to buy a lot of bleach, but I usually buy it kind of in bulk. I apologize. This stuff's all messy. I've had it for a while. This is the, you can get a bottle of the developer, the cream developer. Now 30 volume is pretty strong. Um, if you have lighter colored hair, um, you can use 20 volume. Uh, I'm not sure if there's lower volumes. I usually have always seen 20, 30, and 40. Now, 40 volume is really strong, and it's really hard on your head. But in some cases, you might need 40 volume to strip your hair, especially if you have really dark hair. Like uh, Black, though, no matter what you do, if you do black in your hair, it's going to be hard to out and I wouldn't do it in like right one right after the other because you can fry your hair and make it fall out which I've done before with my dreadlocks because the dreads I couldn't get all the the dye out this these aren't real but my real dreads um, I actually had bleach stuck in there because I used to change when I was in high school and even after the early few years after high school I used to change my color every week and a half to two weeks just because that was me. I just like to freak people out and be different and have a good time with it and surprise people. So you get your developer. Now this is what activates it. And then you get the powder, which I don't have the lid on it, but um, you can get the powder. And I mean, it's a, I don't even think these are the same brand. As long as you've got your developer, your, your bleach powder, um, you should be able to use it. Now, there's a bunch of this and I only have to use a little bit at a time. If you're not good at, at knowing how to mix it, um, you of course follow the directions and all the information's on the back for ingredients and all that crap. Anyways, um, what I always do is I mix it together and I, you know, you, you mix it up with either like a tinting brush or whatever you have at home that you can mix it up with a, a glove with your finger. And then you want to let it set for one minute. Because if you don't let it set for one minute, it will not active. It's not activated yet, and you'll get really uneven bleach spots. I usually take a, a plastic bag from a grocery store and stick it over my head, and I use the handles and I tie it and I leave it on my head because it helps trap the heat in and it'll bleach faster. Um, some people use heat, but again, when you're applying heat like with a blow dryer or something, you have a if you don't know what you're doing, you can easily super fry your hair and damage it and break it off. Now just remember, anytime you use bleach, you are damaging your hair. So try not to overkill and be like me and break your hair off. Although at the time, because I had real dreadlocks, my uh, my old roommate, shout out to my girl Colleen, you know who you are. She had my hair from when I first chopped my hair off because I used to have really long straight hair down to my butt and I had wanted it shorter and shorter till I had a mohawk. I'd wanted a mohawk since... I think I was four years old and I saw a punk rocker in Berkeley with this huge blue mohawk and I was like, I want to be that guy when I grow up. Well, I had to start somewhere and I started chopping my hair and she had my old hair on her wall and I was like, oh, I know what to do. And I ran into her room and I grabbed um, 
I grabbed my uh, chunk of hair off of her wall and uh, <laughs> I took pieces of it and some rubber bands and I rubber banded it onto my old hair onto what was left of my dread that was only like to here. And after a few weeks, my old, my original hair re-dreaded to the hair that's on my head. So you can actually repair your dreads as long as it's real hair. And it doesn't have to be your hair. You could use someone else's hair. So if you have a friend that chops their head off, hair off, not their head, if they chop their head off, you could wear it. <laughs> if they chop their hair off, you can totally use it. Um, my mom used to always give me her hair whenever she cut it. And me and my um, ex-husband, we used to use it to make dreads and uh, attach them to our dreads, which was really fun. Although mine now is synth and I make these. And if you would like or interested, feel free to comment below. And I know there's tons of YouTube tutorials about these things, but I would be happy to show you how I make my dreads, how I do the blended different colors, um, and where I order my hair from and stuff like that. If you were interested in seeing something, I can also teach you how to, how to make them and make falls, which are pieces you can just tie into your hair. So you don't have to have it, um, attached individually to your hair. So you could just take them in and out whenever you want, be a weekend warrior. If you don't want to have dreads, um, for a long period of time. So, um, if you're interested, comment below and I uh, will look into making a video about it. And in fact, if you are interested, maybe, maybe I will make a set of, uh, falls and with what hair I have, make it a prize for someone on my, uh, subscriber list. Would that be cool? I don't know. If you think so, ask below or uh, not ask below, let me know below and I'll, um, we'll see about doing that. Okay. Without further ado, moving on, I'm going to show you how I do my crazy eyebrows and maybe some eyeshadow and my lipstick. I just got some new colors. So I'm really excited. I also wanted to share with you guys, my mom works for the company Funko and, um, I can't show you right now because it's over on the other side of the room, but maybe I'll do, um, a special video sometime showing off all my Funko Pops. My mom just got me a giant Funko Pop of Count Chocula, which is my favorite cereal. So I was really excited that she got every October and like before October, my mom will buy me <laughs> boxes of Count Chocula all throughout October. And so randomly I'll get a box of Count Chocula in November or something. My birthday's in November, so she always tries to spoil me with those things. She's so sweet. She just gets that, you know, I'm a little Wednesday Adams and I always have been. So she encourages whatever I'm into and my creativity and expression and, and dark side. My mom's got it too. My mom's into Halloween and she's into all kinds of stuff, but she loves the spooky bits too. Okay, so moving on, let's do, I want to show you, I have a couple of the Funko ones here and I'll show more of these in a little bit. Now, I think, I think Ulta or Sephora might have carried them, but uh, she brought me, this is a lip, a lip gloss and it's got, um, oh, my brain is farting on her name right now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I can't think of her name. From Snow White, <laughs> Maleficent. Is it Maleficent? No. Yeah, Maleficent. Maleficent's from Snow White. Um, oh, if you look on my fingers, I was testing, um, drawing what I might want to tattoo on my fingers because I have a tattoo machine and I was thinking about doing, um, playing around if I had a kitty and an onk and is that a Triforce? It got blurred because I was messing around. I was washing my hands and messing with stuff. You know, there's a Triforce and a bat somewhere. I don't know. I'm going to do runes on my, um, on the top part of my knuckles, but I was just thinking it'd be fun to tattoo my fingers. Anyways, moving on. So this is the, the Maleficent and then there's Cruella de Vil. So they did, it's Disney villains, um, Funko makeup line. And they're, they're pretty cool actually. They've got, you know, I'm not going to put on cause I'm going to put on my other color, but they're not bad. Um, and the, the palettes are really cool. I also have, which I've been using a lot 
is there a brush kit? So like this one is the Cruella one and it says miserable. Oh, I can't read it. The, the lighting here is crappy. I'm really, really, really sorry about that. Um, miserable darling as usual. Um, perfectly. What the hell does this say? Sorry, the lighting sucks. What? Would it hit it? Would it go? That doesn't sound a word. What the hell? Why can't I read this? Perfectly. I don't know why I can't read that right now. Miserable darling, as usual. Perfectly widical. Would it? Would it? Frack. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know why I can't read that. It's really, the cursive is kind of strange and I don't know why I can't see it. It's going to drive me nuts. Anyways, I apologize. Anyways, the brushes are really cool. Sorry about that. Um, who, this one says, who is the fairest of them all? And then she's on the end there. So it's got, and they've got the Funko Pop head. I don't know. Maybe you can read it. There's a glare on it too. It's make it hard. I mean, that's the, who's the fairest of them all. And then here's the Cruella one. See what I mean? Like how it was super hard to read. So let's see if I'm not good at, um, miserable darling as usual. Perfectly. What does that say? Perfectly. Witter shins. I don't know. Perfectly wick. Wretched. It's wretched. Perfectly wretched. Oh my god. I can't believe I couldn't read that it said wretched. Okay, let's try this again. Miserable darling, as usual. Perfectly wretched. Okay. I hope that made up for my failing of trying to figure out what the hell that said for however many minutes that was. But one thing that's really cool about these brushes is that like the Cruella ones have the Dalmatian. It's like red and red and white and it's got the Dalmatian print on them. And then the, <clears throat> the Maleficent ones have, if I can pull them out. They have purple skulls that are pretty cool on them. Here, let me show you the bigger ones so you can see these over here. Just little purple skulls in pattern. And doop. And then the brushes have, you know, purples. I'm I'm really terrible at cleaning my brushes sometimes, especially because I'm usually using the same uh, eyeshadows a lot just uh, to match whatever my color cur current color look is. So they're pretty cool. I really like them. They work. They're not bad. I mean, they work really well. So moving on, let's go ahead and do a little bit of shimmer highlight. I just got this. Well, I didn't just get it. I've had it for a little bit. Got this from Ulta. It's Highlight Mermaids. Ooh, it's so shiny. You can tell since I've been doing blue a lot that the blue is used a lot because that's me. There's blue, purple, and sort of a peachy color. So let's get dip into that blue a bit and I'll give my my face a little blue shimmer. A blue shimmer. All right. So I'm going to make a little small talk while I'm doing this. How is everybody out there doing that has to stay quarantined? You guys hanging in there? Are you finding creative things to do? It'd be really interested to know what you're doing because I am a essential worker. Uh, I work two, or not two, 
technically I work, <clears throat> technically I work two part-time jobs, two different part-time jobs, but I actually work three jobs because I do two of the same job. So I like to do my, the, the bone, the, the brow bone really good since I draw on my eyebrows there. I think it looks really fun and shiny by keeping it all nice and shimmery. So I, um, I work mainly as a home care aide. I'm cert state certified, which I've done for a long time. I started doing it back in 1999 for my disabled brother who rest his soul passed away in 2007. Uh, he was, um, born disabled. They don't know why. And, um, he was supposed, uh, according to doctors, he was only supposed to live to, uh, they said he wouldn't live to be a year old. So he wasn't supposed to survive. And so I had to learn what death was when I was just three years old which a lot of kids don't have to do. So that made me kind of different to begin with. And I think that's honestly what kind of uh, put me on the path to being a little bit of a Wednesday Adams, so to speak, it, with the lack of a better term, sort of a darker kid was being exposed to that super young. You know, it just changes you. You have to grow up faster and, you know, you learn things about life that other kids don't have to deal with. So, and, uh, working in retail for long periods of time, I actually noticed a pattern that, pardon me, I have to get a sip of my beverage because my throat's kind of, from all the talking, it's kind of going, hey, um, mm. I noticed that I met other kids with disabled siblings and almost all of them had a gone through some sort of goth punk or countercultural style phase. I'm not big on labels, but if you want to call me goth, you want to call me punk, whatever, I'm cool with it. My old roommate used to call me a gathunk. So I was like that gathunk. I was thinking about doing a segment called questions for a gathunk girl. So if you have any questions that you would like to know, uh, from a goth girl or from a punk girl or a goth punk girl, if you will, um, feel free to record a video, uh, post a comment, uh, hit me up on Instagram, whatever you like. I'll put all that information below. I will also hold up a sign at some point showing my Instagram name, which isn't too different than my username. Uh, so I noticed anyways that, that, uh, this seemed to be a common theme that a lot of these kids had gone through, if it, you know, a phase, if you will, which I never got out of my phase. It wasn't a phase. This is just me, which a lot of people don't, didn't understand, especially in the nineties. I, I was persecuted a lot for it, but you can imagine my mom being at the store, pushing around, you know, this kid in a wheelchair who clearly can't, uh, function for himself. And then you know, me toting not far behind this, uh, usually wearing platforms and plastic or torn up clothing like nylons and <laughs> makeup going ha down half on my face or either my hair kind of like it is now, or I'd have, you know, a two foot tall mohawk or something. And you'd see strangers would look at my mom like, you poor woman. But my mom just laughed. She got a kick out of the way people reacted. So my brother, um, was born, uh, with hydrocephalus, holoprosencephaly, and cerebral palsy. He was a spastic quadriplegic and he couldn't walk or talk like you and I he couldn't hold his head up. Uh, he was there though. Like he was mentally home. Um, cause he would laugh at the appropriate part of movies. He flirted with all my girlfriends. He loved the ladies. You know, he, he, I see him as having been an angel in the flesh. You know, he's to me a living, was a living angel and he affected everyone who met him. He affected their lives. Every single person uh, was changed by him in some way or, or touched by him in some way. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'll talk more about that here in a moment, but I'm going to do, I got this palette 
another one from Ulta. I got an Ulta card and I'm poor. So I've been taking advantage of it. This one is Venus Excess Frosted. I've been looking for more blues and icy tones since that's the colors I'm sticking with right now. I have a tendency to go back between, you know, red bases one time of the year and blue bases the other time of the year. Although um, I have a favorite look that I haven't done in a long time called, that I call myself 3D Heather, where I do half blue and half red, and then I usually um, transition into rainbow, which I think is going to be the next look I do. Okay, so I'm going to put on some eyeshadow. I'm going to do this lighter. If there is like a hint of blue in this. I don't know how well you can tell my lighting. I don't have the best lighting, but I've got to have this light on um, this this uh, mirror, otherwise I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing in here, which I've done before. So I'm just going to go ahead and pack that in there. I'm really big on coordinating, if you can't tell. I just have a really good time with it. Um, when I was in my late teens, for a while there, I got really into being <laughs> asymmetrical. I used to get all my piercings um, not balanced out like I would do one lip ring on the left and two eyebrow rings on the right and vice versa. I have big scars you can see on my eyebrows like here's one of them here. I had one there and then I had two two there you can see them and I like I kind of like the scars because it I feel like it makes me look like some kind of alien race from a, a like a fantasy world. Um, the only reason I ever got my eyebrows pierced was because uh, in the 90s, before they had the whole body piercing thing under control by the, you know, the government's rules and laws and all that crap, uh, you could only get certain body piercings even with your um, parents' permission. Uh because uh, I thought it was dumb. I mean, I was 17 years old, okay? I had was just about to graduate high school, and all I wanted was my bottom lip done three times. Just one, two, three. That's what I wanted. And they said, even with my mother standing there, they couldn't do it because the mouth is considered a sexual part of the body. Now I see all these kids walking around that are, you know, 14, 15, 16 with their snake bites and stuff, which, you know, it's fine. That's cool. I, I get it. Um, but it kind of pisses me off just because like I had to wait, you know, I had to freaking wait to get mine done until I was 18, which wasn't too far away. And in, in hindsight, you know, I knew I was going to get them and I wasn't going to change my mind and, you know, here I am, you know, 20 whenever years later, what, what was it? 98, 22 years later. And I still have, uh, my lip, all my piercings. Uh, so whatever. Um, although when I got these done, they weren't called snake bites. They didn't even have a name. They were just called lip piercings. So sometimes I do my eyeshadow and eyes and everything first and then do my eyebrows and other times I do my eyebrows first it just depends on my mood I just thought I would do the eyeshadow first like there's so many eyeshadow tutorials that I'm not gonna bore you with the same old same old thing I'm just gonna do it how I do it now I um I because I had to learn on my own there wasn't YouTube when I first started doing my makeup and there also wasn't a lot of great color. I mean, there were some cool colors out there, but usually you either had to get Ben Nye theatrical makeup, which I found because I was a theater nut. You know, I love acting and performing and the stage. So I, um, I would get those at, I don't remember what it was called, display and costume or costume and display. I know there's still a few around, but the one that was literally right down the road from me closed when I moved to this area, like really close. To, I lived so close to it. I got to walk to it and they freaking closed down, which is a bummer because the Ben Nye makeup is awesome and they come in really vibrant colors. And 
they were one of the only ways I ever found colored liquid um, eyeliner because that's how I first, you know, when you want to make your eyebrows match, you can't, you couldn't back then because they didn't have a colored liquid liner. You had to um, find creative ways to do it. And at first I would use, I would get the Halloween cream makeup and a paintbrush and I would draw on my eyebrows that way, which trust me, I had some bad eyebrow years because whew, girl, <laughs> one time, sometimes they'd be higher than the other. And, um, I found a long time ago that when you're doing your eyebrows, if you mess up, it's better to just embrace it and make the mistake part of your eyebrow pattern, unless it's really bad or smeared where you have to start over because it oftentimes takes off a layer of like your foundation and stuff and then you have to fix it and then it looks really weird if like it looks like you did a patch, <laughs> a fix up patch there. So I just try really hard to just get it right the first time and if I'm in the right groove, I can, um, if, if I'm in the right groove and I know what I'm going to draw on, um, I've timed myself before doing both eyebrows. I've done them in one minute flat. And I'm going to take a little bit longer time today to do it just to show you guys how I do it. Now, I don't have um, as deep set eyes as some people, so I have to use illusions to get the right, um, the right, uh, look of my eyes being set further now I didn't used to always do the lighter color above to the eyebrow here but I'm going to do it just for fun so I'm going to just pack a little bit more of that lighter color in there do that and then on this side so anyways, I also work um, at a Dollar Tree. Um, I've worked a lot of retail in my life. I usually work management. Um, like I said, I worked at Hot Topic for eight years. I went through various stages of management. Um, I was promoted to management within my first two months working there. I was district employee of the month. I started there when I was 17 and I left in Let's see, I turned, I started the week I turned 18 and then I left in 2006. Um, the company had gone through some major changes and I still love the company. Um, I just, it got really hard, especially because <clears throat> I lived in a city that was further away from my baby store, which was the one that I actually opened and sort of the Everett, the Everett mall store was my baby store for Everett, Washington. Um, because that was the one I opened and it was funny because I never, I had vowed I was never going to shop there again. And then my district manager transferred me there. Uh, and I was pissed. I was like, dude, I, I, I was never going to shop there again. And then he, the way he really sold me on it was he said that he said to me, Heather, I need someone that knows what they're doing. And I was just like, oh, touch my heart because he believed in me and trusted me to represent the company properly, which I always tried to do um, working there. And it was just really funny because <clears throat> people, like the reason that I had vowed never to shop there again was one time I was in there shopping and I had had a job since I first moved to Washington State this that summer that I first moved here and was right after Kurt Cobain died and uh it was I'm using this this really in the same palette this darker blue it's kind of cool just to kind of match it with my other little look here uh and I accidentally got a job so that was pretty cool um so I had a job from the time I was 13 and then when I started at Hot Topic, I was working at both Hot Topic and at my first job, which I was a dog grooming assistant. So I did those 
that all the way up until I just couldn't do it anymore because I was working at Hot Topic too much. They desired way too much of my time. So um, I did that, and that's all she wrote. Well, at Hot Topic, um, you know, I, I was... Uh, I kind of brought this sort of alternative look to the area I lived. I mean, I already looked like this. And I got tra transferred to Everett because it was the city um, that I actually lived in. And I was working a city um, more uh, south, towards more towards Seattle. And the, the Everett uh, area, people used to be really, really, really mean to me. Like, I would, I mean, well, this happened everywhere, really, in the 90s. If you looked like I did and you'd be walking down the street, you would get uh, harassed constantly. I mean, constantly. It was obscenities would be yelled at you. You'd be propositioned for sexual acts. You would be have stuff thrown at you. You know, I had chewed gum and eggs and full soda cans and all kinds of stuff thrown at me. People would say things like, you're going to hell and all this stuff, and you come to expect it at some point, like, you just kind of get used to it, and I would just try to tune everybody out, and just be like, yeah, whatever, I can, I don't care what you say, because what you think of me does not matter to me, I know who I am, and I'm not going to let you tear me down, you know, that was my attitude, and I hoped that working um, at the mall and being around teenagers, that I could pass that same mindset on to the youth that I was working with and, and influencing because, you know, it really doesn't matter what others think of you. You have to do what makes you happy. You have to be who you are and be true to yourself. Or that's the only way you're going to be happy. And that's what I did because I wasn't going to let what some person I don't even know's opinion of me, um, I wasn't going to let that affect me. Like, oh, gee, well, this stranger drove by and doesn't like how I look. So I'm just going to stop doing it. No, F that. I'm going to do what I'm going to do and I'm going to enjoy it. You know, that's why I always related to drag queens was because um, drag queens, you know, they find strength and power in being... Uh, in, in their look and their performance and this was sort of my shield to the world it gave me strength because okay? I was always little and I was always weird and different and picked on and talked about strange things like death and ghosts and you know so it, <laughs> I was always kind of an oddball before I really looked like an oddball so you know <laughs> I just rolled with it. But anyways, the queens, drag queens, my mom, one of my mom's best friends growing up was a queen and he gave me the best beauty tips and he was such a huge influence on me. He's very, very sadly passed away um, from a HIV related brain tumor. The summer I moved here in 94 or the winter of 94 when I first moved here to Washington and we didn't know that he had HIV because he kept it a secret because he had already been persecuted his whole life for being gay. And, you know, he was like an ebony dark man and he was persecuted for that. And he was afraid of being rejected. I just wish that he would have known that no matter what, he was family to us and we loved him no matter for everything that he was and always would have and always will. Like I think about him so much and you know, he's been gone now a long time, but he would have been so proud of my fashion and stuff and the way I turned out. And so I always try to bring some of him into my look and let him be an inspiration uh, to me um, so he can kind of live on within, within me a little bit. Getting rid of the fallout here. Okay, sorry to be so serious there for a minute, but he really did have a huge influence on me. Dante. Dante was his name. Gosh, she was gorgeous. She was a very, very beautiful person. 
Oh, um, so the Funko also have the liquid, they have liquid eyeliners. Like here's one of them. Um, and they're pretty good. The, the colors are really cool. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to use, I just got a Wet n Wild Mega Liner liquid um, eyeliner that I just got for five, about five bucks at Walmart. Uh, I also have, I usually use the NYX uh, Vivid Brights, although this one is almost gone. It's super dry. I have another one here. This is one I've been using regularly. It's the same, basically the same thing. It's NYX, oh shoot, NYX Epic Wear. And it's, sure, I'm getting low on this one too but it's got a nice blue. I mean, it's, it matches my hair perfectly right now, but I think I'm going to use, because I just got it and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to use this, um, mega liner. Okay. So when I do my brows, I start on one side. I usually have an idea. Sometimes I have an idea of what I'm going to do and I will, I kind of go back and forth. I do part of one, part of the other, so I can keep it balanced. Otherwise, you know, you can end up with it higher or not as even. So looking, let's just kind of go with it and I'll, sh I'll just show you as I go. So I love these, these little brushes because they work the best for me. I also have a little trick. I hold my arm like this to keep it steady. So I'm going to do that. Now I might not talk much because I'm trying to uh, pay, pay close attention. I hope you can see it. And if not on this side, you'll be able to see it on this side when I get to that side. So, uh, let's see here. <laughs> My boyfriend's farting outside. <laughs> I don't know if the sound can do that, but it sounds like a duck. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. So there's part of it. And then I'm going to do a little, little dot. I might even use some of those other, the other color just to get a good little bit of different color depth. I, I watched Hedwig and the Angry Inch last night and I hadn't watched it in a while. So I've got some of the songs that's playing in my head. Man, I wish we could play music like that on these. That'd be really cool. I was actually thinking about asking a musician friend of mine if I can use some of her music in my, uh, in my videos. That way I can, I mean, she's been on tour with bands like KMFDM stuff before. In fact, they produced one of her, uh, at least one of her albums, if not multiple. So I was thinking about asking her if she would mind if I use some of her music and I mean, give her even more exposure. Not that she's not capable of doing that on her own. She's an awesome musician and an awesome person and I just love her to pieces. Her name is Charlie Drown. I don't know if you've ever heard Charlie Drown, but if you like, uh, like, uh, industrial metal rock type stuff, I would definitely give Charlie Drown a check out. Uh, I really like, um, one of my favorite albums of hers is called Pretty Machine Gun and it's pretty badass. Okay, so see how I've got the one part there? So now I'm going to go, I'll do the other side just so I can keep it even. It really sucks that I have these pretty wicked, like, crow's feet or whatever you want to call them, marks in, right there, the creases right before, between my eyes. Um, when I was in high school, I had welfare glasses, and I hate wearing them but I'm blind 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 super blind so when I would walk through the school 
or even sitting in class trying to read the overhead projector, chalkboards, or whiteboards, depending on what time of when those were put up, when the whiteboards were put up or whatever, I would always be squinting to see. <laughs> One thing that's really funny about that is, you know, looking how I look, I would be walking down the halls of school to get to my class, and I'd always have this scowl on my face, and it wasn't because I was angry, <laughs> it was because I was trying to see, and so everybody that uh, saw me thought I was mad, <laughs> they thought I was just this angry girl, when really that was like far from the truth. It was like one of the hap happiest go lucky people you could meet. I just couldn't see worth a crap. Okay, so there's my part now. You can see I kind of drew this line a little bit longer on that side on the top. So I'm going to kind of fudge with it a little bit here. Well, uh, how about we give it a little. A little down thing. I'll do the same on the other side. I mean, it's not as long, but that's okay. Honestly, if it's a little bit off, no one's even going to notice. People think my eyebrows are tattooed all the time. I get constantly get compliments from people going, Ooh, I love your tattoos. And I'll have most of my actual tattoos covered up, and I'm being like, uh, are you talking about my eyebrows? Because it's just like what I like. <laughs> wow, it looks really good. Did you do it yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been doing it for over 20 years. Yeah, a long, long time. No, you're, you're not that old. Mm -hmm. I sure am. I'm a vampire. <laughs> okay, so just basically what I do is I just go back and forth. Do bent, bent, one side, pattern, one side, you know, until I feel like I'm done. And sometimes I'll mess with it and add things to it. And just, I just try to have fun with it. This, this pattern that I'm doing right now is kind of a go-to. I actually recently sat down and drew out a whole bunch of different ones because I've realized I've been doing a lot of the same patterns for a while. Like um, <laughs> when I was in high school, again, I was limited to my options. And one of my favorite looks to do is, you know, the red hair. So I kind of look like an evil Raggedy Ann or something or Annabelle, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> and uh, sorry, I need to focus for a second there. I hope you can see this okay, what I'm doing. So I always, um, I had this sort of weird obsession with rat, the ragdoll thing. I also had a dude that was had a crush on me because he had a raggedy on fetish, <laughs> which was really bizarre to me, but okay, whatever floats your boat, I'm not judging. Um, so I, one of my favorite looks to do is stitches and I'll do the red lines and then I'll do like, looks like they're stitched over with another color. And um, I had no idea because I was pretty much a straight A student. Okay, A's and B's. You know, I graduated with honors and I, I had 3.7 or 3.67, some kind of GPA. I, don't know, I had a fairly high GPA. Um, and I never had Saturday school. I never got detention. I did all the extracurricular activities. I just, you know, I was just a good kid. And... Uh, the, I came home one day and my mom said that the office had called and they said, your daughter's makeup is too violent because I had done the stitching. And my mom says, get over it. It's makeup. <laughs> no, I, I just like, when my mom told me that first off, I had no idea. See, look, I messed up. So I did the line going into that. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy it on this side. And it looks like it's intentional. See? So 
the fact that I came home and found out, they didn't say anything to me at school, but the fact that the office had called my mom and my mom was just like, get over it, it's makeup. First off, they couldn't do anything to me and uh, it just made me love my mom even more. Like, I love my mom to pieces, but that was just like, <laughs> go mom, you rule. My mom is the best. I'm going to do a little higher arch. I know it doesn't fit with like the curve of my thing, but it looks all right, right? I think it looks cool. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do it a little bit lower, but eh, you can barely tell. Did I make one line longer than the other? I'm just kind of... <clears throat> there we go. One of my favorite little things, accents, let's use the darker blue. Oh, I thought it was open. I think this is a darker blue. The next one. I like to do dots a lot. Um, when bindies were everywhere and you can find them, I would buy bindies and I will do those across as my eyebrows, which is really fun. I think it just looks so cool. So let's do dot, dot, dot. See? My poor webcam is trying to focus. What are you doing, woman? You're moving too much. So... Dot. 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 An ex-boyfriend of mine who's a really good friend of mine who's also a tattoo artist, um, he, he wanted, um, back when we were first dating, he was talking about, you know, first he wanted, he, of course he wanted to do my makeup, which was really cute, sitting, him sitting there doing like different eye designs on my eyebrows. Because I usually use, this is my usual, what I draw my eyebrows on with, is whenever you see me with black, it's the, I can't get the angle right, the Maybelline Ultra Liner, waterproof. Now this one has always been my go-to um, eyebrow. Um, the black, it goes, if you can't, do, if you don't want to do the colored, the black looks really good. In fact, I'll do a little bit for my um, for my eyes, um, but he wanted to do document my eyebrows and, and eye makeup and do like a photo, a photo book of all of my different eyebrows every day. I don't know if we were going to do it for, you know, so many months or weeks or for a year or what, but that'd be pretty fascinating to see, you know. 364 days or whatever, depending on leap year. Um, is it 364 or 365? I'm doubting myself. Whatever it is, that many days of eyebrows would be kind of fascinating to see, I think. And then when you're, you know, make it like a s slightly smaller coffee table book. So that way when you're like, um, feeling uninspired, you can just flip through the book and be like, Hey, I'm a new those eyebrows today. So there's one eye. The one thing though with this stuff is that sometimes it takes a second to dry. So you either want to get a fan, which of course my fan I think is on the other side of the room. My little handheld fan. So I'm just going to do this real quick. Take a piece of paper if I can. And just that way when you open your eye, you don't end up with the crease all black. Because then you got to clean it off and redo the makeup, blah, blah, blah. It's just a pain in the butt. Okay. Probably good enough. Okay. So we got uno and dos. Dos. 
dos, I wings. Ah, ah, ah. Man, I wish, oh, I wish when I laughed and cackled like that, there was thunder and lightning like the Count from Sesame Street. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Don't you think that'd be the coolest ever? That made me so happy. It truly would be the ultimate monster. Which, by the way, that's what it says on my upper arm there. It's all blurry and old. And there's skulls written in it. But um, I had a boss who had girl tattooed there. And her boyfriend had boy and I got monster. Now, this was probably when Lady Gaga was in middle school, I think. <laughs> so, I'm the original mama monster ladies and gentlemen although I, I do respect Lady Gaga don't don't get me wrong I think she's a lovely person and she's artistically very creative um, she comes up with some really cool stuff she has a beautiful voice personally I'm not into her music but you know maybe uh, if I heard the right things maybe I could get into it I don't know either way I respect her I do, and I, I think that she seems like a cool chick, and if I had a chance to, I'd totally kick it with her. She seems awesome, and she's got good advice, from what I've seen, to um, young performers and people. Also got this um, LA Colors eye marker, although who knows if I'm actually going to use it on my eyes. Some of these kind of make my eyes water, but we'll try it here. A pretty blue. That's my only issue with some of these um, these liquid eyeliners. I love all the bold colors. I love that they actually make some. See, look, it, that looks pretty cool in my waterline. I didn't put it in the waterline. I'm gonna use the a. Uh, a pencil for that that I have that I'm going to do for my lips as well. I just got the coolest lip color to show y'all here. I'm going to put that on to do the finishing touches and I'm almost done. Sorry if I've bored you to death with my goofy stories. I have a lot and lot and lot of them. I've been through a lot in the 39 years that I've been on this planet. In 39 of your Earth years, I have been through quite a lot. <laughs> My mom and I have an ongoing joke that I'm actually an alien. Which I absolutely thought was the coolest when um, I found out that Jeffree Star had an alien palette, which I still don't have. I unfortunately am a bargain makeup buyer usually because I'm not very rich these days ever since my back injury and the fact that I can only work part-time because I have um, I have fibromyalgia, degenerative disc disease, arthritis in my back, and blah 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 all these fun health things so I had to go from being a full-time management type worker to working part-time because I can't stand being on my feet for more than four hours without being in complete agony from my back pain and doctors don't want to help me because they just see me and think drug seeker you know and I've had some help and whatnot so I've just been kind of finding ways to work through it on my own I'm actually doing a lot better than I was for a while there and I lost I finally don't have a limp anymore um, after my permanent nerve damage which sometimes it my leg gets weak or whatever if I overkill but or be too active but I've been trying to really push myself and that's why I got a retail job again to force myself to be on my feet to work harder because I really miss roller skating and I used to roller skate all the time I used to do roller derby and I loved it um, and I actually think I might start roller skating to work on days that I have to walk which I think would be fun okay so this is the Revlon Color Stay 
I don't know what it is supposed to be for. It's called Sapphire Eyeliner. It's eyeliner. I've never been one for using what eyeliner when it says use eyeliner. I've used it for my lips. That's why I've got some of the coolest lip colors ever was always by, you know, doing a eyeliner and then filling it in with um, eyeshadow. Come on, it's like not. There you go. I keep seeing things out of the corner of my eyes, and I'm sure it's just my cats, but it's still throwing me off. get visited by ghosts every now and then now and again not only because a lot of people close to me have passed away but I have a tendency to draw them to me because I'm a bit of an empathic sensitive I've been dealing with a spirit in this house for a while Although it's been rather quiet for the last couple, last month or so, but I put um, I always put intense uh, wording, wordings and um, protections on my room and my. Um, most lived in areas of my home. I didn't do the whole house because I was trying to investigate and see who it was because either the late 90s or early 2000s about two houses down uh, there was a murder and I don't know why, but I have the feeling that it's the murder victim. I don't know if there was more than one victim. I can't seem to find the article about it, but I, I heard about it from my boyfriend's mom. And they've lived in this house his whole life, so even before then. So I do my liner and see what I do my lip rings. I just work around them. It's hard to talk and do this. So I apologize. It's always cracked me up. <laughs> I just broke the the makeup on the the stick on there. When I was um first uh, in the earlier days of not many people having facial piercings and stuff. Whenever a friend would spend the night at my house after a party or something, it always cracked me up because I'd be getting ready and I'd notice that everyone would stop and stare at me and I'm like, what? And they're oh, I just want to see how you put on your lipstick. <laughs> I just thought it was the funniest thing. I was like, oh, okay. They're just curious. I get it. But it would always throw me off and I would be like, don't, don't stare at me. It's making me uncomfortable. I feel like I can't do it. <laughs> well, you got, you're sitting there trying to do it and there's a whole room of people just like. <laughs> it makes you nervous and self-conscious. I, I have, um. Uh, what's it called? Not mascara. Gosh dang, I can't think of words right now. Foundation on my my lip thing. 
That'll come off later. This is besides when I showed my um, niece how to put on lipstick or to put lipstick on with my niece. This is, I think, the first time I've done this on camera. Okay. I hate when my the corners get like moist. Hate that word moist so <laughs> doesn't want to go on right Ugh. I went a little too far down gosh dang it I hate it when it breaks on you there you go Okay, it's fairly even. Okay, so there's that. And let's do this lipstick I got is called Sapphire Siren and it's by Maybelline and I saw this I was like oh that color look at that color yes so pretty okay let's do it and it's really soft it actually smells good like it's got like a fruit smell Fruit or candy. That's what I always liked about Mac's lipstick is it smells like cocoa. I can tell they put cocoa butter or something in it. I usually prefer matte lipsticks, especially with having your lip pierced because it kind of stays longer, I think. But if it doesn't, if it isn't a matte and I want it to be one, I'll just pop some lips, uh, some eyeshadow over it. And sometimes I'll put a shimmery one over it. It looks really pretty. Although right now I'm going to use this. I'll do, I'll do the, um, the eyeshadow trick another time and I'll even do like um, contouring with it where there'll be different shades and it looks really really cool. I'm actually really happy with this lipstick. I think it looks so pretty. I think it looks dope with my hair. Mm, lipstick. This looks like such a psycho right now. Well, I'm not used to it. People think I look like a psycho anyway. So there you go. There you have it. That is how I do my eyebrows. My makeup. I already did my foundation. So I cheated a little bit. But I thought it would save time. That way I can focus on the details of the crazy eyebrows that I do. And how I do them. And, oh, we forgot the final thing. Setting spray. I love this stuff. I'm so glad this is a thing now. I'm using NYX right now. I like the all-nighter um, brand, which I don't know where the heck it is right now. So I'm having a brain fart on names, or I would tell you the name. You probably know it if you are a makeup connoisseur anyways. Um, God, why can't I think of the name of it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, I am not sponsored by anybody, so it doesn't really matter. Um, if any makeup brands would like to sponsor me, that'd be great. And I'd be happy to 
uh, feature your products and show how I use it to make the unique and creative character that is me. <laughs> so yes, this is this is my look. The light is not great in here, so we will try to get it. Mm, that's a little better. I'm just trying not to block the camera. So if you enjoyed seeing how to do my eyebrows, my little makeup tutorial, I would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, so to say, maybe give me a subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. And you never know what I might do. It might be makeup. It might be me going on a walk to a cemetery and trying to do an EVP session or a spirit box session. Or it might be me showing off my newest claw e prize, which by the way, this, okay, I already had one. It's my fold away mirror. I got one for Christmas from my boyfriend's sister and I broke mine because I'm a careless over, I was actually not care. I'm not careless. Okay. I was in a hurry and I had to go and I broke it and Luckily, I won one from Clawy, the claw machine app game. That's C-L-A-W-E-E, -E, which if you're any, if you're doubting it at all, that is a legit um, app and I love it. It's one of my favorite apps. <clears throat> I won so many prizes from it. And this mirror, I was so happy to finally get a new one. So yay, Clawy. And it's got both the both the different sides so you can have the, you know, the extreme close up whoa, side or the standard side. Now you just have to be careful and it, it can plug in with, uh, or use batteries. So you can plug into a USB port or use batteries. So you just fold it down <clears throat> and see if I have it the right way. I actually have a bag for mine. This one didn't come with a bag, but the original one that I have has a bag. So I'm going to use it. It's a little velvet bag. It's really cute. So, it folds down really nice and it's a great travel mirror. You can pretty much take it anywhere. And the fact that it's a built-in light is awesome. So I'm stoked that I have another one again and I want to show that off to you guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you'd like to see more videos, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, ideas, please write them below. If you haven't noticed so far, I respond or at least give a heart or a like to every single person who comments on my videos. Stay cool, stay safe, wash your hands, and keep on staying six feet apart. Also, uh, peace, love, and purple bunnies.